All right, today we're going to do a quick Trousers in Tunic documentary. I just finished some Blitzkrieg Germans from Warlord Games for the Bolt Action Game System. This is the period in time from the 1930s where they had their stone gray uniform to the early 1940s where they were transitioning to this khaki green color. Most of the time they had the khaki green tunic with some of the old gray pants and that's what we're symbolizing here today. So we're going to move on to the tunic itself. We started with Vallejo brand mostly. This is going to be a German uniform. Now Vallejo colors are very, they're very well pigmented. They're not thin. This will go on if you use a black, a khaki, a gray base coat or primer. This will go over it. It should go on at least one, maybe two if anything, but generally just one helping will do it. We're going to move on to the shading. Now, the thing about the shading is you've got options. I was using the Army Painter Green Tone. I think the closest you can get is the Citadel Bealton Green. I've never used that one. I do prefer the Citadel Shades because they actually hit the recesses without toning down the actual color. The Army Painters have this weird glossy texture to them and they do seem to cover the actual coat and tone it down. So what I like to do is I pour a little bit out on a piece of paper or a wet palette depending on what I'm using and I'll put about a I usually use these kind of medium-sized flat brushes, the rounded tip. This is a preference for me. I'll get about just a tip snuff of water, mix it around on in there, and I'll apply it very carefully. And what I'll be doing is wicking up as much as possible. Just want to get it in the recesses and not let it sit on the top. Sometimes I'll get a smaller flat brush to go right behind it, wet already, to try to wick off as much as possible from the areas I don't want it to be in. I'll let that sit. Usually if, if I do a primer or a shading of any type, I'll let it sit. 12 to 24 hours just to be safe. Now after I do any shading, I'll do what I call the cleanup highlight. The cleanup highlight is using 50% of your base and 50% of your highlight. And we're going to go over that very carefully. If you're going on a quick way, you could dry brush it on, but I like to very gently go across everything. Now we're going to do the highlight, and this is usually more of an extreme highlight. You can choose where to put it depending on where you think it'll be necessary. As we'll go back over with the field gray, and it really gives that kind of woolen pop out, and I really like it. Now for the pants. The pants were going for that stone gray color, so I used London gray. That's a, yet another very highly pigmented color that should go on pretty much in one go. And after that, I was it was hard to see what shade I wanted to use. I went with a very, very thin down variation of Agrac Urshay just to give it some depth. I am curious if I used an Apothecary Gray, one of the Citadel Contrast paints, what that would do, but that usually gives it kind of a medium darker gray tone, so I don't know if that would work. And I mixed a 50-50 of the London Gray and White Gray as a highlight over that, and I kept it very simple. I didn't do any more than that. I think it turned out pretty well. If you're not comfortable mixing paints on that one, I think Administratum Gray from Citadel might work, but I think that one's a bit too bright for the situation here. I usually like to mix the paints because you can tone up and tone down the color as you see fit. That's pretty much all I got for there, but I would say if you do kind of a, want a dirtiest look, especially on their jack boots, go for a medium gray and just dry brush that on there and it'll work really well. If you do Agrax for the pants, it'll give that kind of slight dusty color. But yeah, I think that's all I got for right now. Documentation over. If you found anything useful out of that, that's uh, that's good. That's what we go for here. If you got any tips or tricks to them, always willing to learn more. So that's it for right now. Marschieren,